Hi, Charlie Sager from Charlie Sager's Adventures. Yes, I'm painting, I'm back painting. Um, I'm just going to do a little video to show the people who want to do up their own home and paint their own home house because there's a terrible big expense in painting your own house out. And I've seen some painting jobs where the prices are unbelievable. Uh, way too high from my point of view, but if you want to save a lot of money in painting your own house out, you can. I painted this the other day, put the paint on the wall, it's not hard, it's, it's quite easy. All you need is a roller, paintbrush and uh, a stick and just go for it. Now a lot of people don't like cutting in underneath here. They, they get terrified or frightened and it's not hard. After you've done it a few times, it becomes very easy and just natural. I'm just going to do you something now. That's what we call a cheats way. <laughs> We're going to paint this top of it. That's all painted up underneath with the same colour up underneath there. What you do is you just come up and you paint that section there and it'll give a good straight line and it looks a very professional job when you finish with it and all you do is just just that take the first line of paint off your roller and then come back along and then just do that go along like that and that'll give you a good straight line now that's not very hard to do at all and you'll get that real professional look at the finish of the job and it looks really nice and tidy and there's no stress, no worries about it. You don't have to cut in underneath there if you don't want to. Like I said, a lot of people don't like cutting in. Uh, they get terrified of painting full stop because they're frightened they're going to spill paint everywhere and everything else. I'm a little bit twisted here, so I'll get down. The other thing is, I'll just put this roller back on the tray. The other thing is, <laughs> when you're doing little cracks in the walls and the splits and that, I just use this little compound here. I find it very easy because you just lift the lid and it's always kept fresh. It does a good job of keeping it nice and fresh. You can mix up powder and a lot of times you mix too much up and you're wasted. So when you're doing a little job like this and you've got gouges and there and there and there and some houses have quite a few gouges, this goes on very smoothly and it's really easy to sand off. It's quite good at sanding. It takes paint, you can paint over the top of it, it's good. That's so cool. Some compounds, um, I used one of my son's compounds, uh, mud I should say, or whatever. It was, it was like rock, I had to go get a blink and grinder to get it off. And that's because it was an exterior one. And I didn't look on the label, I just grabbed it and yeah, made a mistake, my fault. But it was terrible to get off. So when you go to look for a mud, joining mud or compound, this is, I find this is quite, quite good, it, it does the job. The other thing that I'm going to show you, I probably shouldn't in one sense, but I will. And this is for people who are out in the back box. They can't get anybody to travel four or five hundred k's out to fix their house up or to paint their house or do whatever they do. So they've got to do it themselves. And they've got a, an asbestos wall and it's got a hole in it. How do they fix it? Well, this is the easiest and the most safest way that you can do. And I'm just going to show you. You can buy these at Bunnings and they're very cheap. You just peel that part there back, peel it back, peel it back, peel it back until you get it all back and then you just put it over the top of the hole like that and then you spread that out there like that then mud over the top of it. It is the safest way to do asbestos. You're not touching anything or doing anything or whatever. I have never seen anything like that advertised on YouTube or anybody showing it. But when it comes to asbestos you should get the professional people in to remove the whole sheet and put another sheet up there and, and to have it done properly. But like I said, then when you're about four or five hundred k's out in the middle of nowhere on a station or a farm or if it's a shearer's quarters or something like that and you've got to get that hole fixed before the shearers come in, this is the safest way of doing it. And when you mud it, you paint it, it's finished, it's done. Um, the other thing I'm going to show you to try and help you, my glasses just fell out, hope I don't pull them, is this little, little thing here, I didn't get the pad. There's a, a pad that this goes on and then you screw this in there like that and when you're sanding your walls down, that's a 240, when you're sanding your walls down you just go up and down like that and walk backwards and forwards. All you're doing is giving a light little scratch so the paint can add heat to the wall and once you do that you'll be fine. Another thing is I like, I always wash my walls down before I do it because you'd be surprised and how much fly spray can get on that wall and fly spray is an oil based thing especially with grandma doing the old pump spray thing and getting up in the corners there I did a house once out on a farm 
and uh, I thought I cleaned it all down, but up in that corner there, it was just a big sheet of it just lifted straight off where Grandma had got her old pump fly spray. So wash the walls down, give it a light sand, put it on your pole. I didn't pick up the thing that goes with that, but it goes on the end of this and you just up and down. That's about all I could say uh, for the time being because there's so many there's so many painting uh, videos on, on YouTube and uh, if you want to learn how to paint, just look at a few of them, but get the right ones. Don't get the people who tell you that, oh, you don't need a primer for that, you just paint over the top of it. No, 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 no. It'll peel off. I can show you a video where the, that's actually happened. And I can show you a video where somebody has put water base on oil. And I literally just got the scraper and scraped all the paint off the walls. I had to take it all off. It was a terrible job. So don't put water base over oil. Please don't do that. You'll get into a mess. Make sure. And to test if it's water base, you can get a bit of methyl, put it on a rag, and if it wipes off, then it's water base. If it doesn't wipe off, you can bet you nine times out of ten it'll be oil base. So okay, this is Charlie Sager saying bye for now. Catch you later, and I hope this has been a little bit helpful for you. You can save a lot of money. Uh, painting a house can be anywhere from seven to eight to nine thousand dollars to paint a house out, depending on what it is. Some painters will charge up to over a thousand dollars just to do a bedroom. That's ouchy. Paint is extremely dear today. I don't know why the paint is so dear, but it has become very, very expensive. Maybe that's why the painters would have to put their prices up because of the high price of the paint. Hope this has been good. This is Charlie Sager saying bye for now. Catch you later.